Hello guys, I'm Rahman. Now I want to talk about the topic most, but firstly, I think my part is the abstract and introduction. So, firstly, I want to explain what is abstract in this topic. Abstract in this topic, we know about the charge. Uh, is is it the electricity is important to us? What is electricity because it's involved about the charges and others. So we know about which is the the main the sorry not main component but which what is the 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 most fat component okay in introduction here we know what is the MOSFET MOSFET is the so MOSFET is the metal oxide semiconductor kill effect transistor Okay, we, if you know about the intro, we can know about the whole of the MOSFET is involved the two, two elements in the MOSFET. We can conclude that first. Conclude first, uh, as MOSFET is the transistor, but it include the many, many charges can stop in the MOSFET. Okay, guys. So, uh, this is my introduction. But before that, we know. We can know the MOSFET is the very good component in electricity, which it can be can be simplified as the simple component, which it can store many charge and can discharge to the charge to use to the people. Okay, nice. Uh, Hello, my name is Muhammad Aslu bin Zalani and matrix number D0520100079. Today, I'm going to present about literature review. First of all, introduction of MOSFET. In contrast to the substrates, uh, the, the most field uh, effect transistor structure has two doping regions. And the second one, MOSFET device structures. The application of an input voltage to the gate electrode requires the operations of a most transistor uh, and about biasis, biasing invasion layer if an invasion layer has been in, induced induced that an external bias voltage may be applied to the channel region of a most structure communications what is called it. so the long channel MOSFET the circle characteristics long channel behavior has been defined uh, in a variety of ways from the perspective of the MOSFET as a circuit component. Threshold voltage control in MOSFETs, the value of the gate voltage that turns on the transistor. Uh, the last one is ion implantation for adjusting threshold voltage. Implantation may be used uh, at the silicon surface to either increase or decrease the net upon con concretion consecration gate induced drain leakage GIDL the GIDL is another type of leakage current found in all state MOSFETs the GIDL responsible carries a rise in the drain region that is overlapped by the gate and GIDL occurs when the gate is grounded and the drain is at VDD, a broad electric field that then exists across the outside, which must be assisted in the drain region by charge. In this charge is provided by the formation of a depletion region in the drain. In addition, to the, to the depletion area, if it becomes too high, an inversion 15 layer will try to form at the silicon in addition to the depletion region. An invention layer will attempt to form at the drain silicon surface. However, they are subsequently swept laterally to the substrate as the minority carriers arrive at the surface to form the invention layer. In this situation, thus the depletion area under the outside in the drain become too deep depletion become a deep depletion layer instead an incipient inversion layer is referred 
to as the region near the surface where an inversion layer should be formed. The GIDL current constitutes the current that flow as a consequence of the carriers being swept from this incipient layer. The submicron MOSFET Since L and Z still net need to be further reduced in the search for higher density, it will nevertheless be necessary to deal with the other short channel results. Increases, increased short channel MOSFET of state leakage is due to many phenomena, including decreasing the threshold voltage VTSL, decreasing or N or VDS increases, decreasing the onset of punch through at smaller drain biases as L decreases, and increasing the isolation leakage current as the isolation spacing decreases. This gate outside breakdown system deterioration due to hot carrier effect and reliability issue associated with the interconnection between MOSFETs such as electro migration failures in the metal lines include the reliability issue that occur in short MOSFETs. Comparison of long channel and short channel MOSFET characteristic. As a result, the result of short channel devices can be associated with a reduction in the measurement of gate length or gate width. Feeders Features of long channel device 17 devices that experience variance as the dimension of the gates are reduced. We can see from the above comparison that the short channel effect can be divided into the following categories A. Dose affecting VT, B. Dose affecting subthreshold current, and C. Dose affecting ID when the MOSFET is run in saturation. Punch through in short channel MOSFETs. Punch through is a process related to the merging in the MOSFETs of the source and drain depletion region. That is, as the channel gets shorter, the edge, the edge of the depletion area gets closer. Punch through is a form is formed when the channel length is decreased to approximately the sum of the two junction depletion widths. However, because as reverse bias is increased, increase the depletion region of a PN junction expand, all MOSFETs will eventually reach one through if a sufficient high VDS could be applied. However, in MOSFET will with L lower than 2 micrometer before this punch through voltage is reached. Breakdown of the drain subtratum junction normally sets in. As a consequence in practice, punch through is a is not limit is not a limiting factor in the digital MOSFET architecture for long channel. However, punch through, punch through does pose a significant restriction in shorter channel devices. Short channel effects on the IAV characteristic of MOSFET operate in the strong inversion regime. Hmm. The DCID VDS characteristic of long channel MOSFET operating in AV inversion in three ways are significantly altered by short channel effect. First, the combined effect of the gate length and the gate width counts a change in VT second. <laughs> VT. Second, to effect to effect decrease the mobility of the carry in the channel which in turn decreases ID. These two effects are the degradation factor of mobility. Third, the length of the channel is moderate, modulated by the drain. The drain. MOSFET scaling. Who presented a roadmap of the scaling of MOSFET in MOSFET devices in 1993? He expected that every three years, 
a new generation of technology will continue to create it, to be created, which may be a decline to four years beyond the 0.3 micrometer generation. His most fat scaling proposal illustrate illustrated. Sub threshold swing ST Bruce et al. suggested another approach to scaling that overcome overcomes the above problem. They introduce introduce an empirical formula that defines the minimum gate duration that a MOSFET should have such that its subtraction behavior remains insensitive to drain biases. That is, a restri restriction on each single combination of system parameters is defined by using this formula. So that if long channel subtraction behavior is constrained, IDS IDST is independent of drain to sources voltage when long channel devices are operated in the subtraction once VDS exceeds a few. Therefore, the criterion selected to represent acceptable long channel behavior was not more than a 10% change in drain current for a 0.5 volt. Subthreshold scaling It is independent of drain to source voltage when long channel devices are run in the subthreshold until VDS reach a few kilo T per Q. Thus, the creation chosen to reflect appropriate long channel behavior was that for a 0.5 volt shift in VDS, no more than a 10% charge change in drain current should occur. Assalamualaikum and good evening. So my name is Mama Radlan Bezakaria. So today uh, I'm gonna explain uh, my part in assignment which is discussion. So our topic is uh, MOSFET and the discussion is uh, as you know the main principle of the MOSFET is actually a device to able to control the voltage and current flow between the source and drain terminals. So uh, basically MOSFET is working depends on the MOS capacitor. So it works almost like a switch and the functionality of the device is based on the MOS capacitor and the, the most capacitor is the main part of MOSFET. So, as you know, uh, the semiconductor surface uh, can be inverted from P type, which is PNP, and N type, which is NPN. So, um, when we apply a repulsive force for the positive gate voltage, then the holes present beneath the acid layer are pushed downward with the substrates. So in addition, MOSFET was provided by two main types, which is P-type and N-type. The semiconductor also as MOSFET or regular junction transistor is basically function as switch in two scenarios. One is on, on state and the other is off state. The operation of this device happens mainly, mainly in three regions, which is cut off regions, second saturation regions, and the last one saturation regions. Therefore, MOSFET also are particularly useful uh, in amplifier due to the input impedance being nearly infinite which allows the amplifier to capture almost all the incoming signal. The main advantage is that it requires almost no input current to control the load current. When compared with bipolar transistor, MOSFETs are available in two basic forms which is depletion type and enhancement type. When we apply a positive gate voltage, the holes present under the outside layer with the repulsive force and the holes are pushed downward with the substrates. The depletion regions populated by the bound negative charge, which are associated with the acceptor atoms. The electron reach the channel is formed, so the positive voltage also attracts electrons from the N plus source and drain regions into the channel. So the current can flow freely between the source and drain and the gate voltage control the electron in the channel. So that's all uh, my explanation about discussion uh, for MOSFET topics. So thank you. Uh, today, I would like to present our assignment, which is MOSFET. In this era of globalization, engineers are inventing variety of products. One of the products that are invented by the engineer is MOSFET. MOSFET stands for Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor. 
the mo the working system of a MOSFET can be explained in three lines, which are the MOSFET works by varying the width of a channel along which charge carriers flow, which are hole and electron. The charge carriers enter the channel from the source and exit through the drain. The channel width is controlled by voltage on an electrode is called gate which is located between the drain and source. It is insulated from the channel near an extremely thin layer of metal oxide. The MOSFET, the MOSFET are, are used to invent many products such as light intensity control, motor control and max generator application. Thank, thank you doctor, that's it from my part.